Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, one day before my exam, looking tired, despondent, and completely done with life. This is also me, looking cute as I should be, period. Look at that makeup, girl. Come on now. But how did I go from looking like this to looking like this? I'll give you the answer, it's called law school, and especially law school exams. But before I talk about how I ended up looking like that and suffering two panic attacks after, let's rewind to the time it started falling all apart, two weeks before my exam. the contract law assignment drops. Why is this important, you may ask? Time consumption, that's why, okay? Listen, the assignment that I thought it would take maybe six hours ended up taking four whole days to complete. Hi everyone, it's Friday. A lot has been going on and I have a lot of assignments. I have a test in literally two hours, actually an hour and a half because it's now 12.36. Um, I have an assignment that I've been doing since midnight yesterday. Even though it's due on Monday, I wanna get it finished so that I can have a life. We're in the fifth week. They're trying to like shove five weeks of information down your throat for school so that we can be prepared for exams. But we move, <laughs> but we move regardless. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. I finished my assignment two days after that video. But would that let me to my first problem? I underestimated how much I actually needed to prepare, which put me in internal panic mode, but at this stage, I was still in extreme denial. So I continued. I locked myself in my room and continued studying until the days got closer and closer and closer. But since it was my first exam, I still put in all the effort I could possibly put in. But I think the physical manifestation of my internal breakdown actually started to show around four days before my first exam. This is day four until exams and um, we're coping. We're doing, by God's grace, we're gonna do well. Uh, but don't be fooled by this makeup, okay? I'm here with my laptop and should I show you what my books look like? This, this, these are just two of my books that I'm going to be using in the exam, two. I have tabbed the living daylights out of all of them with a complicated key system so that I can recognize them as I do my exam. These are only half of the books. Half, half of the books. Then, I still haven't tabbed this one correctly. I haven't, I only have two tabs. I have to do that later today so that I don't look like an idiot when I'm doing my exams. Yeah. This is for international and European law. Baby. <laughs> I want to look back at this. Oh, I forgot the other one. Let me just, hold on, chef. This, this, this is law school. This plus this plus that. This is, this is reality. <laughs> it's also five degrees outside. Um, I was gonna go to the library, try and vlog, try to be cute. It's cold. It's cold. I can't show you where I'm living right now, but there is snow on the other side of this window. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later. I'll check in and um, we'll see how this goes. My Ladies and gentlemen, we're back inside my room. Three more days. Three more days until my exams start, I think. Today's Friday. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Today's Friday, which means I have Saturday and Sunday left. So I have two days until my exam. So this is the third day until my exam. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna stick with that. Today did not go as planned. It did not. Um, I woke up at 11 a.m. in the morning and then I didn't leave my room until 2 p.m. You wanna know why? Cause it snowed and I also, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm also tired of studying. I think my body physically is over this because I slept. Actually, I didn't sleep early. I slept at like 2 a.m., but I digress. But like, I think my body is over the whole idea of examinations. Like, I genuinely think my body is so tired of just being put in this situation. <laughs> like, contract law is not the problem. In fact, I should actually catch up contract law. The problem is comparative government. See, comparative government only has, from what I've heard, an 18 to 30% 
pass rate for the first time round of examinations. That means that only 18 to 30 percent out of almost 500 to 600 students pass this exam. That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good passing rate. I, I do not hate comparative government. I just hate the way that we are tested. On the bright side today, it snowed. Make it that what you will. I don't know. <laughs> but that also made it really hard to go outside. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. Anyway, I'll check you guys later. Hopefully things get better tomorrow. Hopefully I wake up earlier tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Uh, spoiler alert. I did not wake up early the next day. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So we just finished the first exam. Um, we were stressed beyond belief. We almost <laughs> didn't make it, but we made it. Period. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Denise? <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> That it was, doesn't it help. was okay. It I was guess. okay. It was okay. I'm not too confident, but yeah, I might pass. Okay, that's a that's a good start. Yeah. That's a good start. Come on, <laughs> I think we will pass. Honestly, yeah, I think it'll be okay. I honestly look. We're gonna make this video. If I come back to this video, and I get my results, <laughs> and we get our results, <laughs> please let's look back at this video. Yeah. Imagine if yeah. you pass and you look back at this video. And I mean, I like, hope I do. Okay, we'll check in with you guys later. Okay, bye. Okay, editing Deborah here. Okay, so I did like another video update that same day. Um, but then like looking back at the footage, I'm realizing my hair is looking a bit fried. Um, so I was hella tired. I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, let's continue the show. I'm back. I'm alive in the flesh. I just had my first exam and the next one is coming on Wednesday. Also, I thought I'd give a different background because I'm tired of standing. I thought that I could study continuously as I got home but as I stare more into my book into my laptop screen the more I lose the will to live okay okay so um I just wanted to log in so that I don't regret not logging in on the same day I had the exam the exam was fine you know it it did what it gave it, <laughs> it did what it gave wow it was three essay like questions the time when which we used to get simple multiple choice questions is gone that's not happening any longer so it's an essay question and then we had two hours and it's like while i did do my best in every question i felt like i could have added more i feel like i could have added more information i feel like i could have written a whole entire dissertation i feel like i could have added more articles i feel like i could have done just more you know but you only have two hours so at least it's over if this had been the only exam i honestly would have been perfectly fine like i, I everything would have been great you know but no no it wasn't the only exam i still had one exam left so i got myself back to the library and continued the cycle again okay, okay. Just asking me for stuff. Like, i don't have the who the the, the, the guy from my tutorial i don't have that like i'm sorry queen oh week five well maybe i do While I was practicing an exam question in the library, right after this footage, it happened. I had a panic attack. I got dizzy, my legs went numb, I couldn't breathe, and all I could just do was like cry and breathe at the same time. All because of examinations. Like, I didn't know whether to be just sad or pissed that this, this whole entire thing was affecting my body this much. But uh, either way, I just don't know. I, I went home and I had to take a break. All in all, stress is real, y'all. Please, don't let it kill you. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it kill you learn from me don't let it hurt you like it may hurt me please So when I got back home, I told myself that I was just not going to go to the second exam and that I would just sit this one out because of the stress. But surprise, surprise, y'all. I did. I did. I'm not going. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. By the Lord's literal good grace. Amen. But we survived and we're living to tell the tale. And that's all period. <laughs> Oh, he looks so cute. I, even though we have been distressed beyond relief. So I guess the moral of the story is don't do what I did. Go to your exam. Just do it. You never know what might come out of it. Um, yeah, that's my PSA. Okay. Is my hair and my makeup done up at 9 p.m. in the evening after my exam? Yeah. 
Are we gonna talk about it now? Because I can finally do shit without feeling guilty. Exams are over. <laughs> They're over. They're over. I had my final exam today. I came back. I was white. I took a thick nap. And now it feels like I can finally be happy again. And that's on period. I had contract law today. I thought I wasn't gonna actually go to the exam. And I did by God's grace and only by his grace because I was not about to survive today. We made it regardless, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching this whole vlog. I just wanted to be open and honest and also realistic about what law school is like and the moments where it's like, it's not actually fun and you're actually tired and you look at yourself and you're like, why the hell did I sign up for this job? Yeah. Thank you to everyone who is super supportive throughout this whole entire journey. Not me ending this video as if I'm about to graduate and never coming back here in the next two weeks, please. But right now it's the holidays, so happy holidays to everyone. And I will check you guys in the next video. You guys can listen to my project, The Supernova, down below. It is on Spotify, Apple Music, and every other streaming platform. Um, if you guys like my jewelry, you can shop my Etsy and my little like strawberry earrings that I have on today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye! There was one point during the exam in which my brain was like, I'd rather be watching The Vampire Diaries right now. And The Vampire Diaries isn't even my favorite show. I love the originals. Does that happen to y'all? I don't know. Anyways.